everybody and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist in case you're new here. I call myself that because I had a comic once that was The Average comic and now I'm stuck with it and I kind of like it so there we go. I have finally finished a sketchbook. This is a beautiful, beautiful sketchbook by Lana J Arts and I will link her Instagram down below. This was from her shop, but I think she's sold out now. But you can sign up to be notified when products are back in her shop. So maybe she'll restock the sketchbook, I don't know. So anyway, I really like this sketchbook. I have a whole kind of review on it, so we won't really get back into that much. It's a beautiful sketchbook and I really enjoyed using it. I really liked the style of it. So let's get into it. Page one. So slowly I started to run out of room and actually this is my most recent drawing So this is kind of my last drawing of the sketchbook and it was just a doodle for my Hogwarts Sona thing that I did with Color Holtz Creations. It's my latest last video and I was just doodling out maybe some youtubers as well as Luisa and yeah um, It was fun this is also quite a recent thing. When I finished this end of this sketchbook, I went to the beginning again to start to use uh, the front pages, which is now open, by the way, guys, if you want to go check that out, link in description. Um, and so I have the book club tier, tip jar tier, YouTube tier, and I don't know, I was trying to make some really nice icons, and in the end, I kind of, I kind of went with these because I really like them. And I used like alcohol markers of them and the, Monoto markers for these. So this is like paint and this is a coal marker, which I really enjoyed. So we're getting to the actual beginning of the sketchbook. This is the very first thing that I painted in the sketchbook. It's from my horror comic that I'm still working on. You guys are getting bored of hearing that. And then I doodled some statues and stuff. I'm trying to get used to working with tones. Um, as the sketchbook goes on, you can see that I'm just studying a little bit more, trying to get a little bit better at things, instead of just painting nice pretty things. And I'm actually trying to study anatomy and all these. Here is another picture similar to the last one, it's just like a motel mirror. I don't know what, what I was doing here, I think I was having that, you know when you first start a sketchbook and you just kind of draw stuff and you're like, oh I don't really like that, so just I was just trying to get that out of the way. And again here, just like a pattern, weird pattern random. This is watercolour. And as you can see, the paper kind of doesn't hold that very well, but as I've said many times, I really like that texture. I don't know why, I just find it really appealing. Um, yeah, I don't know why, I can't explain it. Here is some more work. I was gonna do a paper cutout art thing and I was gonna do like a shark in a hallway because I was thinking that's gonna be part of the comic. And then doodling because I was trying to get out of the way, like I said, all this block that you first get when you first start a sketchbook. I don't know if you guys get that, but I definitely get that because there's always that intimidation of the white page and starting something new. I got a nib and dip pen, you know those like, sort of like a quill pen but not really and you dip it in ink and you draw with it. I did a whole graphic novel with that pen when I was in university and I forgot how much I really liked it, like the style of art, that, um, style of line that you can get. And I wanted to try using that again, so this is just me experimenting with trying to use that pen and, well, how to use it again, getting used to it basically. This side is my old house before we moved, so this is my old living room that I drew out with like a fine liner and then I just watercolored over the top. I really like the way that this turned out, even though it's kind of messy. I'll just do a little bit of a zoom in for you guys. So you can see like all the stuff on my shelves and my old desk and books and lights and posters. And I do really like that because it's kind of captured like um, a time for me that it no longer exists. And this is where we're staying right now. During quarantine, we stayed in this flat, and I, I drew. I had an empty page, so I went when I finished the sketchbook. I went back to fill this out, and I thought it'd be a nice comparison, like before and after, like different views. So, just this one didn't take me very long. This one took me ages. So, this is me experimenting again with the dip pen. I think I can get some really expressionate lines here. I don't know if you guys have seen The Craft, but it's one of my favorite movies. Um, it's like 90s movie about witches and it's really cool. A little bit scary at the end. It's not like super scary, but it's creepy. Um, it scared me when I was a kid though. But yeah, really cool characters and I was just drawing them and I really like this kind of style. 
Here I was preparing for book paint over for Crazy Rich Asians and I was drawing out different things that I could put on the cover and then the expression of the main character and different things so yeah thumbnailing basically. I made my mum like a either a Mother's Day card or a birthday card I can't remember at this time but yeah that's my mum and I made her this card and it turned out quite nice and then I was just doodling I think I was still a bit like what am I gonna do with this sketchbook at this point more random doodles and little thumbnails for a glow-in-the-dark video that I made more craft kind of fan art here um, a doodle of one of in the images for my glow-in-the-dark image that I did which is this so I drew out what I wanted to do here I also drew like a sort of cowboy girl realistically just to kind of find out uh, how to stylize her if that made sense because I wanted to draw like an adventurer I remember that and then I made ghosts because I used like this glow-in-the-dark paint and I really really like this piece I'm really proud that I did all this preliminary work because that piece turned out something that I really enjoyed so there we go and this is a, a sticker by Joy San from her patron. Ugh, I hate I hate this page, but I'm gonna show you guys everything. And you know, sketchbooks are sort of meant to be a place where you can just experiment and do bad things, and it doesn't matter. So I had this glow in the dark paint, like I said, and I drew this. So this should glow in the dark. Um, I kind of like this a little bit, but it's just wrong as well, like her hand's wrong and I think I just went for it with the, the pen and I didn't really care. I think this was Inktober, so I was thinking of like what to draw for that. Yeah, one of the things was snail and jam, I'm not sure. This was for my IT paint over, so I was drawing different clowns and stuff, trying to figure out how to make a scary clown and I think I accomplished it because I really like that book paint over. Um, again, it's a video on my channel so if you guys want to search for it just search for it but yeah this is the, the clown that I went with eventually and it was kind of like a cover that you opened up and then the inside I drew the losers gang uh, which you can see here is kind of a thumbnail and then here was my idea that I was going to do for Inktober so I went ahead and I drew out all these different thumbnails for each one and I really really like these I got really inspired by them and sort of this angular style that came up from nowhere but then when I went to do them I used that ink stuff that I got from a subscription box I can't remember which one it is I think it might be palettful um they sent it to me and I used the alcohol inks and yeah you can go see that video if you want but it, I did every single one of these in there on that alcohol sheet and they didn't come out as clear as this so they were kind of cool but they're not as I don't know I really like some of these little doodles so yeah I don't know um they're pretty cool next page and here okay this one is a mess I think I hadn't at this point drawn in my sketchbook for a long time and yeah I wanted I went for a stage of wanting to quit my job like there's no problem with me saying that because my work knows that and we sorted things out so I don't know I quit that day and I just doodled and yeah, that's why it says I quit but I'm still at the job and I'm really happy now so don't worry about me <laughs> um here is my doodle of how I felt so like the progressive like blah feeling here is a weird like little t-rex image of pesto <laughs> she looks a little bit crazy there so we're just gonna skip past this page this is my thumbnail for the hate you give uh, book paint over. I really like this paint over. I think it turned out really well It's one of my favorites ever and I love that book and it's kind of important that book It's quite prominent at the moment So if you feel like reading something about racial tension and things like that, that is a really amazing book Here is a little doodle for the horror comic. I was just I don't know I was like thinking of oh, what could I do with like floating things above the pool or I don't know, I was just messing around with this concept, so I kept this in the sketchbook to remind me of that that idea, so that's that. Here is some, <laughs> I was trying to like draw creepy things that might appear or not appear, so I was just trying to, because it's kind of hard to draw something scary, if that makes sense. I think trying to convey something or mood or feeling, it, 
is difficult with a comic. I was trying to make scary things and I saw this giant bird that was quite scary so I drew him out. This one is kind of something that I just did after all this to fill the page and it was with my uh, monitor paint markers and it's a painting called Pintura de Albert Enca, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I really like the way that turned out the style of it with the alcohol markers coming through the page and giving like this pattern. I liked it. I kind of like this guy, he's kind of scary, and I like this melty face because I want to do something with that imagery. I painted a girl and she turned out looking like that girl from um, Hereditary, that movie, if you've seen it, that horror movie. <laughs> but like subconsciously, I didn't, I made her up, so creepy. Um, and then I used the alcohol markers to just doodle some different scenes and stuff. I'm going to zoom in here for you guys because it's kind of hard to see. But I was just messing with style and trying to convey an idea with just a couple of colours. And yeah, I kind of like the way this turned out. It's kind of cool. Here, um, a lot of the alcohol markers came through the page, so I just stuck this down. And I like this kind of style with the pencil and then colours on top. Um, I think it looks kind of nice. So I think it's like a hard pencil, or soft pencil rather. And then just the alcohol markers on top. And this is a scene from a movie, Leon, which I really like. Again, that's a good movie. And then I drew this woman, painted her. I hated her face. It was so weird. So I did like an ocean in her face. I don't know why, very random, but kind of like it. It's a little bit weird. Here were some different thumbnails for different videos. So this was for the Little Women 100 page uh, doodle. I drew out like, I don't know if you can see that very well, but some just random sketches of how they would look. I don't know, just trying out things. I think this was for like a Christmas card. So I was like drawing different things. This was for The Haunting of Hill House. I read that book and I wanted to do a paint over, but I never finished it because I just didn't like where it was going. So I just stopped. I kind of like that thumbnail though. Here are a couple of ideas for my save the dates for my wedding. I wanted to do like a constellation theme so it was just like painting out stuff and I think it's quite pretty. Here is a uh, la la la. This is for a redraw of something in the past and I was just trying to sketch out how I could do that again. This is kind of an idea I've had with the, the head of the woman coming off. <laughs> For my horror comic, you probably can't see that very well because it's pencil, but it's just thumbnailing again. And then I was doing an invite um, idea for my friends for their wedding. Um, some live drawing on this side, which again is kind of difficult to see, but if I do that you can see it. It's just some random sketches and then some thumbnails for my friends. This was for the painting of painting with makeup, so I sketched out what I wanted to draw here. And then I think I was like testing the paint which came out of the painting with makeup here. I was just like using it on this pa page of different things to uh, see what the colours were like and they are very nice. So this is the start of the lockdown so this is when we moved to this flat and I was just drawing the, the room of the living room of this place. This is quite funny, this is a little sketch. <laughs> A comic I did and this is me working from home and then I could hear the cats to my left eating so I just look and you just see Gigi like <laughs> the mess I named him and then Pesto like delicately eating and then <laughs> Kubo just shoveling down the food in his mouth and then he would like he'd like shovel it all into his mouth and then lay it on the floor and eat delicately off the floor it's like okay you do you but yeah that was a quick comic that's not really a comic it's kind of just a random idea that I sketched down really quickly then here is a picture of Kubo and some flowers. Here is the first images I did with my new alcohol markers that I got free from Artex. They're very nice actually. I really like them and as we go on you'll see that I got more into using them. I'm not sure I really like these houses. I didn't really do the pens that much justice but I kind of like them. They're kind of quirky. So this is when I started to get into the groove of my art again and this sketchbook so I painted this um thing here I just did like lines um have you ever heard of that exercise if you have like a brush pen with ink if you do a line and then you try to do a line a little bit just further away and then try to keep that going 
and keep going with a single line that's really good for your brush control I've heard so that's like a good practice technique so I was doing that a bit because it's like a fun exercise and also it helps you but also it's like kind of meditative um meditative do I mean yes meditative then I wanted to draw like a bit of a melty face and it ended up looking a little bit like myself so it's kind of creepy <laughs> and it is very creepy but I really like that and I want to do something like this in the comic that I keep talking about I'm really tired of talking about it I need to just do it everyone who's new here is like what are you talking about I'm um, making a comic it's a horror comic oh, I've said it a thousand times so I'm talking really fast over this bit here is some ideas I had for my switch paint over that I did and yeah, I really like some of these. I wanted to do like a whale in water inside it. And I thought that's gonna be really difficult for the first time of painting on something, so never mind. Here is a doodle of Kubo again. And here are some random pebble things. Here I was watching or listening to a stage play that they were putting on and I just paused it and drew out, like tried to draw out really, really quickly the characters on the stage. And yeah, this was kind of the outcome of that. Didn't really like the way they turn out with the kind of expresses, so maybe it's a good idea. Um, I drew my work desk as we were on a really long call. I was drawing like people's icons on because we're on teams and you see these icons of people I work with. Kind of like doing that, it was fun. And then you could see like my work desk and stuff. I like doing that, that was fun. And then I was sitting out on the balcony and drawing the boats that were like in the sea ahead of me and drawing pesto and then Kubo, I was like Kubo is long and then I drew him again like extending longer and longer and here's pesto, I really like that. Underneath here was like a black splodge and I was trying to make it into something and then it was just getting worse and worse so I just put this down and then drew some more boats because I liked everything else on this page, so I didn't want it ruined by just having a black splodge. Like I said, sketchbooks are meant to be messy, but I kind of like this. I saw Minnie Smalls doing this. Um, she's another YouTuber, she's really cool. Um, in her sketchbook, so I was like, you know what, if Minnie does this, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I went for it. Here I was trying to draw like different faces. I was trying to get a little bit more diverse for the normal faces I would draw. I'll draw this old woman and this kind of like Japanese guy who looks kind of angry and then this very interesting looking face of another guy. Um, yeah, I was just trying to get a little bit more diverse but it looks kind of cool together with this little image that I did which I like. This is like alcohol markers and pencils I think and then just ink. I saw this cat in like a watermelon shop, so I wanted to draw that. And then I started to think about, this is when I started to think about my patron thumbnails. So I was thinking what I could make, and I do like these, but they don't really, um, they don't really suggest what each tier is about, so I let them go. I tried to draw like a wave image here, and it didn't really turn out how I liked it, so I just did like a yellow splodge here, and I don't know why I just left that. So anyway, um, yeah, and then I did like a lot with my alcohol markers, different sketches. I do really like this page again. Um, it's kind of cool and it's kind of quirky. I like it together and yeah, I like this page, it's good. Here I was trying to experiment with my style a lot more. So I'm using the Molotov pens here and then the alcohol markers and pencil and things like that. And this was um, my I called it my lockdown wall, so these are kind of where I've been staying for all these weeks and not seeing anyone and just being in these kind of four walls for ages, so I doodled that out from my memory and I really like the way it turned out. It's very cute and so I got inspired by that to like keep going with that kind of style. Here is my milk bottle, the bottle paint over that I did, I kind of did like a quick sketch out of what I wanted to do. Here's a little illustration of me and Kubo and me playing the Switch because during this lockdown I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing. I've kind of gotten away from that a little bit now but yeah I really like that. I drew out that woman without the head missing. That's been a prominent image for me in my mind for the horror comic. So because I like that Molotov style so much I was like maybe I could do that for my horror comic so I was just testing out how it might look. I do enjoy that. But I think as you go, as I go on through this sketchbook, I get more inclined to go back to the alcohol markers. 
one morning I woke up and Pastu just decided to like knock water over my laptop and I woke up to it like just pouring over my laptop. I was like, no, Pastu, what are you doing? And my laptop's fine, so no harm, no foul, but yeah, that was a scary wake up call. <laughs> Here I was drawing different heads again, just trying to get just trying to get better at anatomy and yeah, trying to be a little bit more diverse. Trying to draw men a little bit more than just women. You can see that I was drawing men and then I was like, whatever, women again, like <laughs> I have a problem. Here I was experimenting with the pastels and paint. Just so like a crazy mixed media thing that I think turned out quite nice. I don't love it, I don't hate it. Another lockdown image that I drew quickly with this brush pen that was running out of link ink So I really like the dry brushy style that I got with it I think these will be really cool to look back on once we because we've got a new flat and I'm moving out um, We're gonna stay in this new flat permanently um, I think it'll be nice to see this flat that we stayed in during lockdown like these images in this sketchbook and looking back on it in the future It'll be quite interesting. So I'm glad that I've, I've been documenting it a little bit. Here is an image of me and my ideal desk. I don't actually own one of these drawing desks, you know, the ones that lift up like that. Um, that would be my perfect scenario and a really nice comfy chair and like a big light and just, just you know, just a little area for yourself. I was daydreaming that that would be mine. I like this um, drawing. I can't really remember what was going through my brain, but I think it's supposed to be me and I'm just like ugh, locked down. And I really like that though. I don't know. Trying to cartoonize that's not a word try i was watching a show i think and i was just doodling out like what i saw on the show and i really liked the way that one turned out i'm not sure what's going on here i think i was trying different techniques um here again patreon ideas you can see as i go i'm trying to build upon past ideas as i've been drawing um different things so each each time i do them i'm trying to update them here is a quote by uh frida carlo and it says, nothing is absolute, everything changes, everything moves, everything revolves, everything flies and goes away. And I really like that quote, so I just wanted to draw it out. Um, I think it was very meaningful, me meaningful for me at the time when we had the lockdown and we didn't know what was going on and what was going to happen. So I really uh, connected with that quote a little bit, so I just wanted to write it down to remember it. Here is me messing with style again. So I think this is a mixture of watercolour and then the Molotow pens on top. So I really, really like the way this turned out. I like, this is like the bay, the view from this flat. This is my, this was my desk at the time. Pesto, sleeping, books. Uh, I don't know what this is, like plants and stuff. And then this is Chris playing. And then these were people from the show we were watching. I was trying to doodle them again and then different place. And yeah, I really like this style of the watercolor and then the Molojo pen. As I said before, you can see like a little bit of that texture here that I was talking about that you get from this sketchbook with the watercolour and yeah, I like that style. Again, experimenting with style here with using a lot of mixed media. So I think I was using the Molojo pen, watercolour and um, pastels here. I do like, I do like the style because it gives a definite mood to everything but I think it's too difficult to work with all this media together. It kind of fights each other, but I do enjoy that as well. So it depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I really think these set a really nice atmosphere. I really like them. I might post an Instagram of these actually, which I haven't done. Here was a painting of a girl that I did just using watercolor no, and pencil, I think a little bit. I do like this, this piece by itself. And then I really like this one too. This was this preliminary thing that I drew for um, testing out the <clears throat> pastels and also watercolor together again. And yeah, it's really, really nice. I like this one. There's a lot of atmosphere to it. Um, it's a bit chalky, bit of a mess, but I kind of like that. So whatever. Here I am trying to draw stuff. I think fashion pieces that I saw on Instagram. You ever have those adverts when they just advertise like these amazing ball gowns that you know won't look like that if you order them? I was just drawing them out and then I was drawing like different faces, trying to be more diverse again. Random doodle, I don't know, just me messing with things basically. 
here again was kind of like a mood research I would say of different stuff so again with the pastels it won't come off because I used hairspray pastels and then like a really uh, dry brushed ink pen and different media like drawing different faces here different things here I thought I would try and draw a sign with using um, the black to actually make the shapes and then I drew this and I drew this girl here and it looked awful so it just went over and did this like weird face so over it. Here is my pesto page. As you can tell I'm a bit obsessed with her. She was sitting on a chair near me so I was just drawing her and she has a very expressive face so it was quite cute to see her like looking around and trying to just get those different angles and I really like these. I think they really convey pesto so it's cool uh, and here again drawing her and then also Kubo because they were lying like at the end of my bed and then I was trying to do like different colors I like this one of Kubo I think it's really cute these were my thumbnails for the most recent no it's not most recent it's my pastel video that I did recently and it's just different thumbnails basically to see what I wanted to do I think this is one of my favorite pages of the book you can see that I'm starting to really get into it again get into drawing feeling inspired not feeling in a rut like I had done in the beginning of the sketchbook and yeah you can see I've got different things um just doodling out different stuff that's that sailor moon challenge that came out and I just doodled that I didn't want to make a big thing of it I just wanted to add it to I was trying to draw things that I was grateful for so I was like grateful for the cats I got this new face mask from The Ordinary. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's just this brand and it looks like blood, but it's totally vegan. And it's just like a, a really good face mask and it's really cheap. So I really like that. And I got a new dressing gown, which I really like. So I was just, you know, doodling out things that I was grateful for for the time. I don't know, I think that's a good thing to do when you're feeling a bit down is appreciate stuff around you. Here it was a little comic that I wanted to do. Um, I was thinking about doing a zine. I think I've already explained this actually somewhere. Anyway, I was thinking about doing a zine where I drew out houses that I've lived in because I've lived in a lot of houses being an army brat, so to speak. So I wanted to draw like a comic about different things and basically in this one I think I was like four maybe and there was this, this light and I was really scared of it for some reason. I thought it was going to attack me. It was one of those like swirly fan lights. And then my gran bought me like this little um, toadstool house um, light and I really liked that. And I have a really like solid memory of getting that and just having it for years and years. Really interesting, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I think it would be cool to have like a little slice of life little story for each, probably more for myself than anyone else, but that's the best way to write stuff, right? Is for yourself. Here again, I was thinking about Patreon. I'm sorry to keep going on about it. Don't worry about it. If you don't want to join, whatever. I'm not trying to push it on you guys, but I'm just trying to explain what's in this sketchbook. Um, and I was thinking about using pesto as one of the thumbnails for like the chip jar. I know you did this and I was like, that is awful. And then I did this and I was like, that's a little bit better than that, but it's still awful. And then I got totally sidetracked by drawing Pesto again. And I really love this piece, so I wanted to keep it blank all around her, but she, she's so cute, guys. She's so cute. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with her. And she was lying at the end of the bed, so I just doodled that out and I really liked it. Again, more patron doodles, trying to figure out how to show what the book club will be the book club is basically like we'll pick a book every month and then we'll draw art on it and we'll make like a dedicated video for it and stuff like that and then more pesto drawings this is my lockdown uniform i think it's just leggings and a t-shirt and like some thick socks <laughs> just living my style and just like with really messy hair doing whatever then more patreon thumbnails and then i got super distracted doing a kiki that kiki redraw um, thing that was going around as well. I did that and then I kind of like it, but I don't love it So I didn't post it anywhere This is the end of the sketchbook. This is the final page basically um, more sort of Patreon things. I think I used these two in the end and then also these ones at the front because I did these recently because I like that style of the alcohol markers and then the pen I think I really like that, so I think I'm gonna look into doing that for more comic-y stuff because this is what I did for my old horror comic and I think 
I really liked it then and I really like it now, so I don't know why I would mix it up so much if I still really enjoy this. This is a friend of mine, she had a birthday recently, so I was trying to doodle her out because I wanted to make her a card, but then I just got a little bit insecure about it and I was like, well, what if she hates it and gets <laughs> insulted? Um, here's pesto on my desk again and some different doodles with the alcohol markers and also like a layer of monitor underneath. I wanted to try out how that would look. This is um, a card that I got with a code on it from a shop and I, it said you matter so I just put that in there. This also has like a little um, pocket at the back. I forgot the word for pocket then. I've been talking for too long. Sorry guys. And I just kept in stuff that I've done over the time of having the sketchbook that I've done outside of the sketchbook. So this is my Ghibli paint over. Um, there's a different one. I think I did this for like Artex sent me some of their, their pens and stuff. So I tried out some more stuff. So yeah, I just keep stuff in the back. I want to frame this one. I think I really like that. I framed the other one. One second. So here's the other framed version. And I, yeah, I really like this. So I'm keeping it um, framed like that. And I think it could be a patron reward because I've got, I'm a patron. If you have a certain tier, you can get like a an original by me every month. Yeah, so I really like that one. I was thinking of using that as one of the rewards, but no one's picked that that option, which is fine. So I get to keep it. And yeah, that is my, my sketchbook tour of, of this sketchbook. I'm really kind of sad that this sketchbook is finished now. And I don't think she's gonna have any more available anytime soon. I might ask her actually because I really, really liked it. I really enjoyed using it and I would love to get another one. I've got a new um, a new sketchbook and you guys have probably seen that if you've seen my last video, it was like the start of a new sketchbook. And I really, I'm not sure if I like it as much as this one so far, but maybe that's just the adjustment period that I go through every time. And I'm getting used to it, I kind of like it, but I like a bigger spread to just kind of work across and make like a full page stuff. Yeah, anyway, that's my my final thoughts on this beautiful sketchbook and I'm gonna miss it, but it's finished and I'm proud of it. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more content. Please go check out my Patreon, even if it's just to like view it. It really helps my channel, it really helps support me to keep going and doing this stuff. I really appreciate you guys and um, to give my patrons a little bit of a shout out. I'd like to personally thank Steph Megaya and Katie for being part of the boss tier and you guys get a shout out at the end of my videos So thank you so much guys. It really means a lot to me. Bye yeah.